Patrick Byrne, the CEO of Overstock.com, which does accept Bitcoin payments for products. Uh, Patrick Byrne made an announcement at uh, the Bitcoin in the Beltway conference in Washington, D.C., and said that uh, he will be donating 3% of the Bitcoin profits he gets in revenue. Uh, he'll be donating 3% to uh, spreading Bitcoin adoption and awareness throughout society. So uh, do you think that's a pretty pretty positive development from Overstock? Yeah, I think that's a really great thing for Overstock to do, um, especially because they make a pretty good bit of profit on Bitcoin. Uh -huh. um, they started accepting Bitcoin at the beginning of 2014, and um, by March, they made 1.6 million uh, in Bitcoin. And um, dang, that's just in the company Bitcoin themselves, revenue. Themselves, they're yeah, just in Bitcoin. Um, and and Overstock themselves have projected that they're that by the end of 2014, they're gonna make 10 million in Bitcoin. Very nice. Um, but. Uh, but when I posted this article on Reddit, there was uh, people, of course, who said it was a terrible idea and it wouldn't help at all. But they actually did make a they actually did make a pretty good point. Um, and I don't, because this is because um, this is what Overstock says. Overstock says uh -huh. they're going to make ten million by the end of twenty fourteen. Um, but I don't know of any reports that have came out on their Bitcoin profits since March. So they, you know, their their Bitcoin sales could be slowing down, um, yeah. and there's, you know, there's a chance that they might not meet, make anywhere near ten million. Um, yeah. But if they do make if they do make ten million ten million dollars in Bitcoin by the end of 2014, that's going to be three hundred thousand dollars that they donate to uh, Bitcoin awareness groups. So that's a pretty substantial amount of money, mm. and I think these advocacy groups. Are going to be able to do a lot with it, and uh, and if if they if the price hits the moon between now and the, and end, the end of twenty fourteen, yeah, you know that three percent that three percent is going to be worth a lot more, right? Yeah. So um, so even even if the numbers aren't significant, um, at least the at least the idea, at least it was a good idea, you know. It is a good idea, and. Yeah. Uh, and it shows it shows really good intentions. You know, Patrick Byrne really cares about Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, you know, he's do, he's doing this in addition to uh, keeping ten percent of Bitcoin profits instead of converting them to dollars. Yeah, he holds it. He actually and, likes holding it. Yeah, yeah. He he owns several million dollars worth of Bitcoin himself in his personal accounts, funds, and also he said that he was going to be expanding um, Bitcoin acceptance to uh, the international market. Uh, so I didn't know this, but right now it's only uh, you can only use Bitcoin uh, with Overstock if you're in the U.S. Oh. But uh, Burn said that he's going to be expanding that uh, to his international customers. So that's you know it's really good news, even if the numbers end up being insignificant. Yeah, okay, so um, I've got a couple questions about this. Um, did he mention, like, what specific organizations he would be donating the 3% to, or did he just say, in general, like, I'm going to use it to spread adoption? Like, did he say that he's going to give it to the Bitcoin Foundation or any other specific group or something? He said he was going to give it to Bitcoin advocacy groups. So I'm assuming he's going to pick, you know, like two or three out and distribute the 3% uh, between those couple groups, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So th that is a good idea. That's a very good idea. Um, it's debatable how much of an impact it'll have. And that's a, that's a fair argument to have about how much difference can it really make. Especially it, it depends on who he gives the money to. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope not the Bitcoin Foundation. I really hate the Bitcoin Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no, that's another can of worms right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 